do have a lot to get to tonight. I'm Anita Blanton. And I'm Tom Shad. We're going to start in James City County, where a judge has found the owner of a pet grooming salon guilty of animal cruelty. Yeah, we told you earlier this month, investigators slapped the owner of the Fuzzy Butt Stops here in Williamsburg with a misdemeanor. Only 10 on your side's Liz Kilmer sat in the courtroom for the follow-up. Liz, what led up to this conviction? Tom and Nita, today the judge viewed video of Henning grooming a cockapoo in which the dog, according to prosecutors, vomits and defecates while being harshly handled. The dog's owner, who was in the courtroom, was at one point brought to tears. Miranda, is that how you groom all animals? Miranda Henning had nothing to say, leaving the James City County Courthouse Thursday, moments after a judge found her guilty of animal cruelty. We first brought you this story just weeks ago when we visited Henning's dog grooming salon, The Fuzzy Butt Stops Here, after she was accused of abusing a customer's cockapoo named Gidget. We're not discussing anything and you need to leave. Goodbye. This woman, revealed in court as Henning's mother-in-law, chased us out with no comment. But on the stand, she testified that the defendant didn't handle the dog roughly. But the judge wasn't buying it, not after viewing cell phone video taken in May from the back pocket of a former salon employee who also testified. As the roughly eight minute video played out in court, we could hear Henning apparently complaining with expletives about Gidget's owner having brought the dog in with mats. Prosecutors described the grooming as abuse, saying the dog was slammed down, jerked around, and harshly brushed. But defense attorney Jim Hannon noted that Gidget was not actually injured and that mats must be removed for a dog's health. He argued a neck restraint was removed during the grooming so as to benefit the dog. We didn't uh, think that anything rose to the level of that would require a conviction here. It's Testimony revealed that after the grooming in question, the defendant did tell Gidget's owner that the dog didn't like her and should see another groomer. But the judge told the court that Henning in the video appeared angry at Gidget's owner and took it out on a scared dog. Off camera, 10 on your side talked to Gidget's owner. She said she didn't want Henning to get in trouble. She just wants her to have more compassion and hopes the conviction will cause that to happen. Henning was given a $1,000 fine and a six-month jail sentence suspended for five years. She can own animals, and the judge didn't place a restriction on whether she can work with animals at her business, which on Facebook describes the shop as low-stress grooming. No word yet on whether Henning will appeal. I'm Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.